Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. And again, thank you so much for our time together. I want, again want us to go back to the book of Deuteronomy. Today, to chapter 2. There's just one little thought I want you to see here today that will help you greatly in your personal relationships. It's a principle that we see all through the Bible, but I just want to bring it out from this one passage. In Deuteronomy chapter 2, beginning with verse 4, give the people these orders. You are to pass through the territory of your brothers, the descendants of Esau, who live in Seir. They will be afraid of you, but be very careful. Don't provoke them to war, for I will not give you any of their land, not even enough to put your foot on. Now, there are things that God says he won't give us because he's given it to other people. And the people of Israel needed to understand this. The, the descendants of Lot, the descendants of Esau, these people had received promises from God also. And God will never take things away from people he gave promises to and give them to us. God has promises for us, and that's, believe me, that is more than sufficient. But the principle I want you to see here today is, they will be afraid of you, but you must be very careful. A principle that you see in human relationships throughout the scripture is the people that you need to be the most cautious with are the people that are afraid of you. Now, I know that sounds completely opposite from the world's wisdom. The world tells you to, to be the most cautious with people that can hurt you, with people that feel confident that they can destroy you, da 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 da. But in actuality, the people you need to be the most careful with are people who are afraid of you. Because people who are afraid of you, they've lost their hope already. And you're going to find that when they act, they act out of desperation. Now, perfect love casts out all fear. The scriptures teach us that very clearly. If, if people love you, they're not afraid of you. It's like one man looked at me one day and said, Pastor Samuel, I'm afraid of you. And I said, that means you don't love me. He said, forgive me, but that means you don't love me. Because I love you. You see, perfect love when, you're lo when your heart is full of love towards somebody, you're not afraid of them. But when you're afraid of somebody, there's no love there. These people are the most dangerous people in your life because they will lash out. It's, it's like cornering a dog. At some point, even if it's a cute little sweet dog, if you corner it, it's going to bite you. You and I have to understand in life, if people are afraid of us, give them a wide space. Let me say that again. If people are afraid of us, give them a wide space and just move on in life. Don't enjoy the dominance you feel over people that fear you. Don't, don't, please, don't ever get, don't go down as the old Star Wars, you know, saying would say, that, that's the path to the dark side. Don't, don't ever go that way. When people are afraid of you, they have a problem in their heart. They, they don't love you. They're scared of you. Give them a wide berth. It's safer for you, and it's safer for them.